for all that's mourning the loss of all our loved ones and recently that has departed our presence you know embrace life with peace and joy you know a lot of people pass away prematurely they remain so genuine to this world that the world can't hold them sometimes you know what i mean you know they move beyond this place because they're ahead of this place their mindset where their heart's at you know um i believe in some of these factors of reasoning why you know to overstand situations that occurred you know uh, to be the most innocent child or the most famous popular person or just a regular person they all mean the same you know if your heart's genuine and your heart's true you know strive to continue to be genuine and true to yourself and toward others and all that you embrace you know um, a lot of the things that um you know, regarding Kobe Bryant, his daughter and the loved ones that are all on the helicopter that passed along with him, you know, um, he was very, very uh, dedicated toward his family and toward, you know, community enrichment. You know, and if you seek the information and wisdom, he was willing to drop gems and jewels on you, you know. So just that attitude of being impressed by the world that he has to perform at a higher you know, caliber, you know, and grab his motivation from the world in general is a plus of how the human heart can maximize its potential even when fatigue may strike, you know. So during this time, you know, please, like, even during the, um, the funeral procession and the things that they have for the tribute, you know, try not to create more division within yourself in terms of, like, people on Facebook posting all kinds of negative things, you know. Uh, Understand their situation, understand their ignorance, understand the uh, reaction that people may want to have of you, destroy your peace, destroy your, you know, loving memory of having Kobe in your heart like that, to turn it into uh, anger or bitterness or frustration, you know what I mean, because other people are reacting in a negative way during this time, you know, use that to overstand people and to overstand yourself, you know, that we all could choose those negative situations, but Kobe did it, right, you know, he had a chance to do anything he wanted to do in this world. But he remained genuine, you know, toward his community, toward his family. And it was when it was his time to donate more of his time to his family, he took full advantage of that. You know, I'm hearing all these testimonials about him. I'm hearing, like, how he even wanted those 20 minutes in his car to go pick up his kids. Like, he wants those 20 minutes. You know what I mean? So, man, you know, that's a very, very genuine, ambitious person of life. You know, so through all our little temptations and struggles, you know what I mean? Stay genuine in your heart. And just understand that people are going to be tempted to try to mirror bitterness and create it in you and reflect it upon you. And if you choose that, you lose in a way, you know. But if you don't, then you lift other people up. You armor yourself even more powerful and you're defeating all kinds of tests. Just how Kobe was defeating all kinds of physical tests, mental tests, and spiritual tests. You know, being the Black Mamba. Look up what the Black Mamba means. You know what I mean? Look up what that person and that... Uh, type of uh, characteristic of a person is throughout ancient history understand what that is you know what i mean and that'll bless you into the insight to why this dude named himself that and why he accepted that you know but above all you know um be peaceful out there embrace life with all his troubles with joy in your heart that's the most important factor you know what i mean you know uh he let me realize that man you know what time is of the essence you know, money is not everything, and the way you want to spread your heart and spread your time is very, very important. How you want to propel your life into the next, you know, uh, generation of yourself, the paradise that you're going to build and blossom within your heart and bring to fruition in your life. You know, these are the manifests of these type of beautiful energies and spirit that you can attract one another as well as uh, build and empower yourself independently or within the group, you know, big Allah salute, you know, much love to his family and all the loved ones that passed away, you know, in the helicopter and all the other ones that are passed away so freely in this life, like life is just taking people away for such reasons of, you know, um, paradox 
the understanding. You know what I mean? It's it's too surmountable to try to, you know, embrace your mind and cover the details of the truth of the matters. You know what I mean? Or why these things are occurring. It's so overwhelming. Just a matter of fact of just understanding yourself and understanding life in general. And then bless yourself with the characteristics of those that have passed away. So that way you can apply those in your life to one another. If you mourn so much for someone, you should you should combine their attributes, you know, into your life and apply it moment to moment in your life. That's the most beautiful message out of the whole thing that I was trying to pull out and push out, you know, regarding Kobe Bryant and everyone else that has passed away, you know, regardless of their fame or contribution to society, because they're all, you know, uh, very, very valuable. You know, so big a law, everyone be safe. Mirror the beautiful nature within within one another. Go ahead, guys. As uh, as children of this world, remain youthful, you know, and inspire one another, as well as inspire yourself, especially if no one is um, supporting you. You know, that's the most powerful part. You're empowering yourself. Now you can't deny yourself of your potential and your true uh, potential of this life. You know, and the, and the genuine duty, divine duty that we all must apply. You know. A lot of times when people don't really apply what they're supposed to do in this life, that creates anxiety, that creates depression, that creates a lot of negative things, you know. So stay active, stay energetic, rest, you know, sleep well, and bless yourself. Big aloha. Salute. Hagen and that. Tata Mona for life.